intensity and sometimes the players need to get used to that and the bounce of the uh, artificial strip here at the Espionada ground where it does tend to pop up slightly so there are chances of catches in the infield I'd like to welcome viewers from across the world whether you're watching here in Greece or indeed whether you're following one of these teams back in India keep you during this commentary try and give you a flavour of the location where we are bright sunshine this morning slight cloud cover now but still pleasant temperature and uh, quite a number of spectators watching on from the cafes that border the boundary here in Espionada Square where cricket was first played way back in 1823 when the British Royal Navy docked and played a game Spain uh, in late May for European Division 3 if they win that they will progress to Division 2 a cross body shot that could go to the boundary slight misfield and that's the first boundary of the innings for Jane just slightly short of length just swiveled pulled it square despairing dive from the fielder but to no avail so yes this is part of a, a busy spring and summer of cricket here in Greece the uh, national team but also the Balkan tournament set for October which will include countries like uh, Bulgaria, Romania and others all of the countries looking to support each other as they look to grow cricket that's going to be a wide I think just swung away, kept on going good effort from the keeper but couldn't got half a glove on it and they scamper through for a single to the two wides So again, for those new to the tournament, it's the fourth time this tournament has been played. It brings across uh, schools from all corners of the globe to play in this lovely island of Corfu, which is the main cricket heartland in Greece. Although it's, as we saw this morning, there are teams elsewhere in Greece. For Athens team did very well this morning to beat Johannesburg, who were winners of the tournament last year also teams from Guernsey in the United Kingdom and Bulgaria that's a full toss that's been given this could be out drops short he's got a slight top edge on it Harsik and uh, he's got half a chance there a bit of a let off looks like he's signalled his intent early he's going to try and clear the infield and uh, pepper the boundaries You wonder if the drivers of the cars parked by the boundary know that there's a cricket match going on. Their cars could be in the firing line for some big shots. That's a cut shot. That's well played. Just waited on it. There is a man down there. Third man. And restricts it to a single. This is a celebratory year for cricket in Corfu. They're celebrating 150 years of being part of Greece when the Ionian Islands were handed over from uh, the United Kingdom to Greece and they are celebrating that in May with a celebratory game powerful stroke there for four by Hiruksik who looks to be in the mood for a big score here today He's not waiting around. Anything slightly short of length, he's pouncing on it. He's got the power to beat the boundary riders. This is a Nick Sheet, the bowler. It's a good ball, just outside off stump, just driven back to him. No run there. 
crowd of several hundred surrounding the, the boundary today. Some of them have come for the cricket, others are just taking a afternoon stroll through the historic centre of Corfu town. Chanced upon a cricket match and decided to have a coffee or a drink. Soak up the atmosphere. A little bit of excitement there from the fielders. I think they might have been a feather on that through to the keeper. But uh, nothing from the umpire. It'll be interesting to see if we get a higher scoring game this afternoon after the low scoring affair this morning. As I said, it does take the players a bit of time to get used to the the different ball that's used for Espionado and also this artificial pitch which uh, it's quite a lot of bounce if you uh, put your back into it. it means players have to be very careful on the drive otherwise they're presenting catches to mid, mid on mid off extra cover short mid wicket for now it's a reasonably defensive field by Delhi no slip in mid on mid off and a conventional ring of fielders and the tall lax here and again it's just defended on the front foot Sure and again. Yeah, that's a good cricket all round there. It's a nice line of length, but uh, the batsman just leant into it, drove it square, and jogged through for the single. So I'll try and give you a flavour of, of our location here. Um, we're about 50, 60 metres from the sea. There's a historic fort, and, uh, some yachts, some sailing boats. And then the other side is a, a maze of streets in Corfu town. Filled with restaurants, shops, souvenirs, selling local specialities, kumquats, kumquat liqueur, very popular. A relaxed pace of life here in the Ionian, Ionian Islands. 20 20 or so degrees very relaxing right, back to the cricket as Lakshas in again to Hrixic oh, he's got him probing outside off stump there got slightly away from his comfort zone just overbalanced hands drawn towards the ball but no slip in place the captain might want to want to think about that always useful to have early breakthroughs in these games just to put the pressure on the batting side again that's a good line length outside off stump and just defended out on the offside into the third over the score is 12 for none really is a fantastic effort by the Hellenic Cricket Federation who have a lot of hard work to do making the arrangements for these teams to come over and are indebted to local umpires also the volunteers around the ground all of them helping to make this event a success So if you were with us this morning, we were talking about the ethos of this tournament being to promote the spirit of the game, camaraderie, building cultural exchange between teams from different corners of the world. And that really is an evidence where everyone is based back at the um, Masongi Hotel. Great to see the boys interacting in the evenings, building friendships, passing on tips perhaps, 
sharing cricket anecdotes. So 13 after three overs. Just turned off his toes. A bit of hesitation amongst the running, but uh, fumble in the field as well, so they get through for the single. And the umpire signals a leg bye on that occasion. So the structure of the tournament, three groups of four. This game is in Group C features uh, Johannesburg Cricket Club Delhi Public School we've seen here Jane it's a nice looking drive but uh, straight to head off and the school club Athens in group B Saheti School uh, a Greek school in South Africa the Ebenezer International School the Goinka International School in Surat and the Montessori School in Lucknow and group A is a Guernsey Cricket Board and that's the first wicket. Went uh, just played it around the corner. Tried to turn off his toes, but it was far too straight for that. It was full. Hit the stumps. Bales came off, and there's a huddle of celebration for the Delhi team and the uh, powerfully built Rixix, the first player to go uh, with the score on 14. So 14 for one. The first wicket has gone down. So just to complete the uh, groups, then uh, Group A. Guernsey Cricket Board, who have a link with uh, Corfu, because uh, their director of cricket is former Greek and South African international Nick Pothas, who has uh, brought his team over. And there's a local Corfu Schools Academy, um, the other team from Jane International, and the Mechanics and Engineering School um, from Bulgaria. And they are all vying to get into the semi final. And then the two best teams in the final, which will be held at 3 o'clock on Saturday. So still all to play for, these group stages. Next batsman at the fall of Eriksik is Avashi. Nice looking stroke, just uh, waited for the ball and, and drove it square. But, uh, no chance for a run. That's played out onto the leg side but no one there very popular tourist destination Corfu good to see that cricket tourism is playing a big big role in that that could be out caught the bowl that's a drop straight back to him straight back to the bowler I did say that the ball was popping up off a length and that's exactly what happened there but the bowler I think just slipped just as he was about to take that slightly surprised him and wasn't able to cling on to the catch you'd put that down as more than a half chance certainly a let off for the batsman So before that I was talking about the role cricket is playing for tourism in Corfu. Uh, very, very popular with British tourists, French tourists and elsewhere. Combination of lovely weather, historic architecture, beautiful beaches. It really is a wonderful place to come and, and play cricket and must be very, very different for these, for these Indian teams. 
very different from the conditions they're used to at home but also a different experience for them Played pleasantly off the back foot, but forcing shot off the back foot, but no run there. Lots of noise from the birds circling ahead. A commotion. Another cut shot, but again straight to the man. Just needs to perhaps wait a bit on that shot and get it further behind square. That could be a wide. Indeed, he's given us a wide, uh, too far outside of stump on that occasion. So in again, it's got a slow deliberate run up it's driven but straight to the extra cover it's great to be joined by a member of the Johannesburg Cricket Club for this morning's match talking about the work in the community they're doing the Hope Village giving hope to youngsters from poor disadvantaged backgrounds very inspiring story Talented cricketers. That's a more powerful shot. It's half stopped, so they get through for a single. Just needs to tighten up his line here. Short delay here while the batsman removes something he didn't like on the pitch. So he's set now. It's a good ball, tight line. Big shout from LBW, but it might have been outside the line, might have got an inside edge. Too much doubt there for the umpire. pace to work with for this this bowler just very steady slow run up relying on accuracy rather than pace
which uh, is being done now. The scorers were a bit busy practicing their forward defensive shots. Hopefully they'll stay on the money. So 16 for one of five overs. So a relatively slow start. But as we saw in the morning games, keeping wickets in hand can be the key on this on this pitch. Which uh, can be difficult to get in on. We have a dog on the pitch now, which is uh, just making his leisurely progress across the pitch. We'll see if the volunteers shoo him away. They don't seem don't seem that worried at the moment. Square, that's good fielding, that's excellent fielding. That might be out. He's run out after an excellent piece of fielding. And uh, slight hesitation on the run, it must have been very close, but the square leg umpire put his, put his finger up, I would say. That was uh, a case of an inch, inch and a half. And uh, just shows you what can happen if you're concentrating the field. Athletic, back your bowlers up, and uh, that's the second wicket gone. Karam to the wicket. So after that dramatic run out, we start again, and uh, that's played off the back foot, but straight to cover. No run there. short of a length slender build this bowler no great pace but getting it in the right areas if you can build pressure with maidens or one or two and over batting team can get a little bit jittery take a risk like they did with that quick single or attempted quick single Well, that's a good shot that's got through the infield should be pulled up just goes into a group of pigeons they come back for two that's well read that's well run interesting to see an Indian team in the Pakistan colours seen that before driven crisply but straight to the fielder cover again needs to start to find these gaps try and rotate the strike and keep it at 5, 6, 7 and over build a platform for an assault at the end of the innings Batsman's trying to use use the pace here to run it off the face of the bat, but uh, there's not a lot of pace to work with. I think uh, against that particular bowl, is going to have to generate power off the bat itself. It's just, these are the kind of things that a batsman needs to think about when confronting different bowlers of different types during the innings. 
try and get a feel for where his scoring areas are. It's going to be the most profitable areas in terms of boundaries or rotating the strike. These are all skills that come with maturity. And this is tours like this can really help teams bond and individuals get used to playing under pressure in a competitive environment. So six overs gone, 18 for two. A little bit leg sidey. Um, it must have uh, hit his arm guard. Uh, nothing from the umpire. to point but no run so as I said all, all Indian affair this afternoon as these two teams look to get their country bragging rights six teams in six Indian teams in the tournament this year proving very popular destination for these Indian teams to come and they fly a long way it's a long time them to make the journey. Very different experience for these boys, both culturally and and in their cricket. So slow start, just uh, 18 from 6, so there's two wickets down. We begin the next over. And that's a good ball almost up in the block hole, Yorker length. And no runs, keeping it very tight. Batsman not taking too many risks at, at, at this time. That's a powerful shot square. That could be four. It is four. Just a nice cut forward a square. Saw it early. Beat the man at cover point. And turns up to see the wonderful sight of an umpire signalling four. That will give the batsman confidence after a period where runs were proving difficult to come by. And for the bowler, just needs to just the length to ensure that the batsman isn't able to free their arms and pick those gaps on the, on the offside there's a point an extra cover and a cover point so it's difficult to thread it through those but that's what he did a bit of bounce that time but he rode it nicely he sent his partner back this could be close easily home cloud cover now after very bright sunshine this morning it's, uh, still very pleasant sort of warm temperature that's wide again and he might pay the price again for that just the just a single down to third man this time and that's the end of the over
So three overs to go until the drinks break. Jane will want to increase the scoring rate. Okay. On twenty-five. So not a particularly high run rate for a twenty twenty. Full line length there, just dug out at his toes. Be very watchful on those deliveries. Make sure you jam the bat down. Otherwise, you can hear what they call the death rattle. If the bale is being dislodged behind you. That's a sound that batsmen across the world fear. Bit of space this time, and that's worked round. That's worked fine on the leg side. Just able to lever that round, just using the pace of the ball, and uh, takes the score to 29. So, it's a shame for the bowler. It's uh, quite a tight over until then. His pace needs to be line length every ball, otherwise he'll be punished. Particularly in the 2020 format, where the onus is on. The batsman to accelerate through the innings. See if you can come back from that. Comes back very well and takes a wicket as uh, the cut shot didn't get on top of it. Straight into the hands of Point. And after the boundary comes the wicket. It's all been all drama in the last couple of minutes. See a third wicket down for Jane. Eyes lit up, looking for back-to-back -back boundaries, but didn't quite get on top of the bounce. And he hit it airily through. Cordon of fielders, always the risk that it'll go to hand. If you've just tuned in, welcome to the Espionada Square in Corfu Town for our second broadcast match today this one uh, all Indian affair of uh, Jane versus Delhi and with uh, the eighth over and the score is uh, 25 lots of three wickets so whether you're watching in Greece or perhaps following one of these teams or relative of one of the players in these teams back in India welcome to you Hope you're getting a feel for the, the location. This beautiful historic square. Feeling nervous perhaps for one of the players. Hoping they'll do well on this big occasion. Or indeed if you're watching from anywhere else in the world hope it's bright and sunny where you are it's certainly very pleasant here in Corfu which is on the Ionian Islands in the north of Greece a rich cricketing pedigree some of the tourists that walk past this game today might be surprised to see cricket played in Greece and perhaps they'll be intrigued and sit down and watch a passage of play and relax go home and tell their friends and family that they saw cricket in an unexpected place and they're on holiday Thank you. 
Cross back shot. That's been fortunate there. The batsman just cleared the, the outfield, but it wasn't really any conviction in that shot. Just got enough on it to clear clear the ring of fielders. See on your screen there one of the volunteers, one of the girls team here in Corfu. Nice orange t-shirt. Kindly giving up their time to one of the many volunteers that helped to make this tournament a success and grow in popularity and prestige across the world, attracting more teams every year. Really, Corfu winning a name for itself is a exotic but accessible cricketing destination. Just a reminder that if you are interested in in cricket in Greece, you can learn more on uh, cricket.jgr website or on their page on Facebook. The national team heading to Spain in late May for their main tournament of the year, which is the European Division 3. So I urge you all to follow them in that tournament as they aim to get promoted to Division 2, which will be held in England in June. Stopped in his run up there, so one pass signals a dead ball. More pigeons on the pitch than players at the moment. Enjoying the corn or the grass seed. Very lush grass here in the Espionada Square. And the bowler's in again. A slow, deliberate run up. It's a big attempted heave across the line. Didn't make contact. Also, a team in Europe that uh, everyone's heard of. It's the longest history is, is England, but a lot of cricket played in Europe, and it's a growing sport with um, the participation trend. It's very positive. Countries like Germany, France, and Spain, rising numbers of active cricketers. A lot of initiatives, such as uh, Street 20, which is a form of cricket you can play uh, anywhere in a park in a leisure centre it just gives people who are unfamiliar with the game a chance to play and uh, that initiative has been very successful here in Greece not just in Corfu but on the mainland and other islands too that's a powerful shot but it's been plucked out of the air it's a very good catch we've seen some very good catches today one or two in the first game and there again just uh, unable to clear that man uh, stuck up an arm and it's stuck like glue and that's the uh, fourth wicket down for Jane who are struggling now in the ninth over Just struggling to lay a foundation here every time they get a few boundaries there's a wicket as well which checks their momentum Δεν το βλέπεις. 
Okay, welcome back. That's an excellent ball. Just, just dug out. The new batsman for Jane is Rohit, joining uh, Devansh, who's still there, the opening batsman. Fortunately, he's seen quite a few at the other end come and go. So, uh, looking to anchor the innings, play that patient role. Well, the other batsmen come in and play some shots around him. That will be the what the coach has told them. But uh, Delhi have uh, made some consistent inroads. An attempted cut shot, but too close to his stumps for that. A little bit of excitement by the fielders. Yes. 